Metadata is really important, not only for the, for the internet, but it's also important from a business aspect for me. The other way it's important too, is if you have 250,000 images, how do you find an image in five minutes? Metadata, right? I can, yeah, drill down. They're looking for something from Grand Teton National Park. I can go to the Grand Teton National Park folder. It has 15,000 images. Okay, well, I've just knocked out 240 some thousand images, but now I still got 15,000 to go through. I'm gonna sit there and scroll the whole time? No. I'm going to type in specific keywords based on the request, okay? If that doesn't get me what I'm looking for, I'm gonna type in specific uh, metadata via the headline and description of the image. You know, bull moose in, <coughs> bull moose in fall color in meadow near oxbow bend, okay? There's a description for you. Headline would be bull moose, Grand Teton, National Park, sunrise, sunset, cloudy, brilliance, color, et cetera, et cetera. Those are going into my headline, kind of additional keyword descriptions to that image, okay? On addition, in addition to uh, utilizing the keyword area of the metadata section too, okay? Then the other thing I add, city, state, all of those locations. Now, at city, state, et cetera, we get five stars. And at that point, it becomes the pick. Okay, make sense? Good. Next thing is color ratings. Let me just um, get out of here for a second so we can kind of go back. So here's our star ratings. Now, if you, question? Jay, how many, uh, or how many keywords are you adding to, are you gonna come back and talk about that more? Or? You, oh uh, yeah, so let's, let's kind of look at an image here, okay? okay. So you can see right here, uh, we're looking at the, the first scenario we showed behind the scenes, the shot we picked, okay? Um, black and white, two different black and white versions of it, why? Notice I cropped in a little bit and rotated it just a tiny bit. It felt better to me to do that, but, so I have two different versions of it, okay? But here's keywords. Here are all the keywords I have in there, okay? This is kind of cool stuff. Okay, we'll see this word, released. Do I have a model release? Yes. I put it in there. The keyword is released. Okay? So it's a released photo. Who are the people what who are the people writing? Well, I know the guy, I know the guy in the back. I know his name is Zaid El Gawarsha. There he is. And I don't remember the guy who's in the front. So is is there another name in here other than Jay Goodrich, right? Um, I'm hoping so. Maybe not. Owen Dudley? Okay. So we put these things in there so, you know, days, years, months later, we can figure things out. Okay, question. Question from the internet. <clears throat> are there specific keyword conventions or used words that are used specifically for this type of adventure sport photography? Um, no. You mean like from a client? Is that is that the perspective or from my perspective, I guess? Yeah, for just, just any like m little pieces of magic, that you, words that you might add in there that you know that editors, art directors that are out there searching might type in. Well, I'm going to show you the little keyword secret in a minute. All right, all right. <laughs> Something we can I'm gonna show you a little plugin you can get for about 35 bucks that's gonna change your world when it comes to keywording. I, I see that your keywords are alphabetized. Well, that's automatic here in Lightroom, I believe. Okay. Right? Okay. So, um, okay, so since we're on the keyword topic, let's just jump right to that. Let's uh, go into, where is it, library, plugin extras. Okay, here's a little plugin. It's called Keyword Master. It was developed by a photographer in uh, England, I believe. And um, we can just click it here and you gather some keywords. So see we have this kind of search bar going on right here. Okay, and if you type in Keyword Master in Google, you'll get the website and you can download the software for free for a trial edition for $35. You can transfer the money via PayPal. They'll give you the license and you, you can run the plugin you know, unrestricted, okay? So we turn on this puppy. Now, see this little open web, web pages thing here? I don't have an internet connection right now, so I'm not gonna do it, but 
essentially the way I start keywording is I type in, uh, you know, something like mountain biking, Washington, and, and then I click open web pages. Let's see what happens if I, it's gonna just open it, but it won't show me connection. Okay, so it goes through, it goes and opens the search areas of multiple stock agencies. So I'm actually keywording based on what is already up on the web. Now, if I don't find anything, I kind of type in a very broad-based search term, like mountain biking Bellingham or mountain biking Washington State, and that kind of starts my keyword progression, okay? They come up here, and this plugin taps into Getty, it taps into Jupyter Images, it taps into Alamy, all these different ones, even Photo Shelter into this, the main overall search bar, and it will bring up images that look like my images, okay? A lot of times it pulls up my images. <laughs> if we have repeat stuff, you know, repeat offenders to different locations, and it allows you to copy the keywords that are on those images already. So we would pick a bunch of keywords in here, we would copy them, they would end up showing up here, and if I click the little gather up button, they get rid of all the extraneous like letters, numbers, commas, words like the that mean absolutely nothing to anybody searching for an image, right? We don't need the word the in there. Uh, it deletes all of that, organizes them alphabetically, and then you click, um, after we gather it up, can I, it's not letting me do it because I didn't, I didn't go through the process, but uh, it will then, um, let's see, command period, perfect. Thank you very much, Jim. Uh, okay, so we would click add the keywords, it would put all those keywords right in here. Bam, I'm done, moving on. Okay, so I don't have to sit there and think of what's out there. Now, I do read through the keywords that I select from the image that looks similar to mine, but yet different, you know. Um, I will go out there, I will select uh, the, those, I, I will select those keywords and delete them out that don't correspond, right? If there's something about sunrise or sunset and it's not a sunrise or sunset shot, we delete that information. You know, different types of bikes, things like that. Anything that's doesn't have to do with the photo, I pull out. And that's a good starting point. And then there are sometimes I'll just add in a few. You know, something like circular or how's the shot taken or, you know, things like that, okay? So keyword master, that thing saves me a ton of time. Now, the cool thing about Lightroom that a lot of people also don't realize is you can create keyword sets, right? So people that I shoot with on a regular basis, I put their sponsors, into my preset metadata. I build them their own keyword set. So anytime I'm mountain biking with Andrew Whiteford, I know Andrew Whiteford's MTB sponsor keywords are gonna go up into the photo just by clicking this little icon here, okay? I got the JG copyright one that also applies my copyright. I have a preset that on import of all my photos, this gets attached to every photo I take. Don't even have to think about it. So, you know, work, work smarter, not harder, right? That's kind of the goal. 